I'm Angel Baum, and along with being on staff here at Thornapple, I'm also a longtime church member. For as long as I can remember, Thornapple has been participating in the annual practice of collecting donations to support Covenant World Relief and Development, or CWRD. Using the can for change, my family has had many of these cans go through our house. We've collected money over the years, and we love being able to support the work that CWRD does around the world to empower local ministries and provide response to disaster and human suffering. My family would love for you to join us and others at Thornapple in collecting money to support CWRD and help make a difference for people outside of Grand Rapids. After participating virtually last year, we once again have physical cans and a handy gratitude and giving calendar that can help guide households through the practice of daily giving and learning about the work of CWRD during the month of November. We're kicking off the effort on November 1, and we'll have cans and calendars available for pickup on Sunday morning and during the week in the copy room at church. The plan is to collect all of the cans at our annual Thanksgiving service, which Andrew will be inviting you to in just a second. You can learn more about CWRD on our website at thornapple.org slash CWRD. Hey Thornapple, Pastor Andrew here. It's hard to believe November is right around the corner, but fall is definitely in the air. And after warmer than normal weather, the leaves are finally starting to turn. And we're starting to turn back to some traditional practices we adapted last year as we faced the unknowns of the pandemic. I, for one, am grateful for the comfort of some normalcy. I'm also grateful for the people of Thornapple and for pie. Doesn't this look delicious? Wouldn't you like a slice of pie? You could definitely go to the store and pick up one like I did. Or you could join me on November 21 at 6 o'clock here at Thornapple for our annual Thanksgiving service and pie social afterwards. You see, we have this beautiful tradition of gathering each year the Sunday evening before Thanksgiving for a brief service and time of publicly sharing what we're grateful for. And people of all ages will have an opportunity to say words of thanksgiving for the gifts from God in their lives. It's a favorite night for many people and a wonderful practice for us as Christians to share in community. After the service, we always enjoy some pie together. I hope you'll join me this year, even if you're kind of new to Thornapple. It's an especially great way to get to know more people. We will also need people to make or purchase pies for this event. Everything you need to know about this is on our website. Check out the calendar at thornapple.org and click on the event to learn more and to sign up to donate pies. I realize it's a long time to wait for pie, so if you need to run to the store and get some, feel free, I won't judge. Hey there, I'm Michelle, Thornapple's Communications Coordinator and also a member of the Teaching Pastor Search Committee, formerly known as the Senior Pastor Search Committee. I know many of you are curious about where we are in the process of finding the new teaching pastor. The easy answer is that we are right where God wants us to be. The hard answer is that we don't yet have a teaching pastor candidate for the congregation to consider. But that's okay. The search committee has continued to meet each week. We continue to listen to sermons from potential candidates, we're talking with other covenant leaders to ask for their suggestions for candidates, and we're exploring many possibilities as they are revealed to us. And we're waiting on God's guidance to lead us to the person He is preparing to be our teaching pastor. Waiting is hard, but it is necessary. God is still at work in the waiting, and He calls each of us to do our part. The search committee is called to listen and discern. The congregation is called to prayer. We welcome your continued prayers and have so appreciated them throughout this process. And while we wait and do the work, we have a wonderful team of pastors in Andrew, Lynn, and Michael, who are helping bridge the gap until we have a teaching pastor in place. The thing we are most confident of in all of this is that God has a plan and a purpose for Thornapple, and he is bringing us there in his time. Like you, we cannot wait to have our teaching pastor in place, and we can't wait to share that person with you.